Alright, IED solving equations, the extension lesson. The one that you do not have to do, but if you would like the challenge, I encourage you to do. So, here we are, example one. We have x's on both sides. And so what we need to do is move things around by adding and subtracting, in this case, um, things to both sides to get x's on one side, we'll put them on the left, I guess, and anything that isn't an X on the other side. So there's a little dividing line, right? So I'm, I've decided it doesn't have to be this way, but we're going to move the X's over to the other side. So 6X is fine over here. I'm going to have to add 3X to both sides. Let's take our time with this, by the way. It gives me 9X minus 5 equals 2. Now... It's like one of those two-step equations we looked at earlier. I take care of this first, add 5 to both sides, and I add 9x equals 7, and then finally divide both sides by 9, and x will equal 7 ninths. Let's see that in action again. Okay. Ooh, all kinds of x's over here. So we can do a lot of things here. Um, we can add this 9x to both sides. If you want, you can combine these two first. Let's do that. 4x minus, an eight, minus 8x is a negative 4x. Plus 11 equals negative 9x minus 8. I would not recommend trying to do too many steps at once. In my experience, I only end up making mistakes. So, like, I could be also be trying to minus the 11 from both sides right now and doing. The more I try to do in one step, the, the more likely I am to mess up. We have this much space. Let's use it. The tree is dead. Let's honor its sacrifice by using it. So, let's, um, let's add this 9x to both sides. Get rid of it here. Bring it over here. So, negative 4x, positive 9. So, we have 5x plus 11 equals, these are gone negative 8. I'm going to subtract 11 from both sides. That gives me 5x equals negative 19. And we divide by 5. x equals negative 19 fifths. And we're done. Take a look at this one. Oh my, there's x's and y's. Um, and all these, we're supposed to solve for x. So really, I'm going to treat y's like constants, like uh, the, the other numbers. I'm just going to get them to one side. So like, for example, here, I'm going to move this 3x. Well, it's negative 3x. I'm going to add it to both sides, get the x's over here. So I have, s well, let's do it this way. Let me get my eraser. So I'm going to add... 3x to both sides. And I can only add the x with another x. I can't add it with a y. They're different things. So here it goes away. And I have 9x minus 5y equals 2y. All right. Well, y in an x. And we're solving for x. We've got to get it by itself. So I'm going to add this to both sides. Add 5y to both sides. That gives me 9x equals, I can add these together because they're both y's, 7y. Remember, all I'm trying to do is get x by itself. I do not care what's going on over here. Long, I don't care. x is the thing i got to get by itself. So I'm going to divide both sides by 9. And x ends up being 7 ninths of y. I don't know why, so I can't give you the number, but I did my job. I solved it for x. All right, so even more things to complicate matters here. But if we're patient, I think we'll be all right. Um, let's take care of getting the... I'm, I generally just put the x's on the left if I can, so I'm going to add 15x here. Once again, solving for x, because that's what the instruction said at the beginning. Add 15x here. So that's going to be 11x plus 5m minus 7 equals negative m plus 2. 
I'll subtract 5m from both sides. 11x minus 7 equals negative 6m plus 2. Still don't have everything gone over here on the left. I'm going to add 7 to both sides. Now, I don't have the 7 here because 7 does not have an m, so I can't add that. But I can add it here. So 11x equals negative 6m plus 9. I'm going to divide both sides by 11. Now, when I in this case, there are two things over here. So what we do is we divide both sides by 11. So that x comes out to be negative 6m plus 9 all over 11. Not just one of them is over 11, both of them. 